Lots of ins, lots of outs Lots of feds in the dude's head And I doubt that we'll ever get to the good part Our enemies smoke the cheering I'm Jim and I play bass. I'm Ryan, I sing and play guitar. I'm Kim, I play keys and I sing. I'm um, Nick, I play drums. <laughs> okay, well, I, I think when it started, it was very folky, and the fact is we all came from rock bands. Like, I play, I've played in punk bands my entire life. Mike has too. These guys have kind of a rock, jazz background. So initially it was, it was, it was very much an homage to like a lot of like the Nashville kind of songwriters that I like, particularly of like the 70s era. With Smokey Wrights, like I want you to like feel like you've just found a record in your parents' record collection that sounds at once vintage and uh, of another era, but just completely fresh, you know? Um, something you, you blow the dust off of it and it sounds brand new. So that's. Yeah, I think the name is, it's imagistic, but it's not specific. And my favorite kind of uh, band names have that. And it's like a piece of language that can mean something completely different from one person to the next. And I think that's what's exciting about songs is they mean something completely different from one person to the next and to you from one day to the next. So the, the things that I think we try and capture our, uh, our big and roomy enough that like anyone can walk in and look around and, and say, this makes me feel something. This was one of those songs that it just kind of fell together really quickly. Like Ryan brought the idea to practice, and I think it was within the first practice that we pretty much had worked out the bones of it, um, and it starts with a piece of language from the Big Lebowski um, that we would always, like we always quote that song to each other, or that movie to each other, and there's just so many good lines, and one of them was, a lot of ins, a lot of outs, a lot of threads in the duder's head, and it just... It's got a nice cadence to it. Yeah, it kind of just inspired this, I don't know, kind of fun party song, really. It's a pretty cathartic rocker. I yeah. think like it, it just kind of came out. And I think the stuff we were writing before then was kind of a little more like subtle and I think we're kind of at this point where we're like there's this volcano ready, like ready to explode and we just got into that song and it just lended itself to just a total rock song for us. Which yeah. Was, which yeah. Was really fun. I think it was a bit more of accepting our our own nature with that song. We know that Smokey Bright started as a very folky band we were trying to be very restrained and, and we were like, I think we got to a point where we were playing like that and we peaked out energy at a few different times and we were like, wait, why are we restraining? Let's just, <laughs> let's just go. Let's just do it. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. That's how we met. Uh, it's just awesome to walk into a huge studio like that. Big rooms, great mics, great board. Um, working with Eric was an absolute pleasure. Super down to earth guy. Uh, very jovial, very fun to work with. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, Studer. Can, can anybody say Studer? <laughs> I, I think I'll stop there. I'll let someone else feel the rest yeah. of this. I, I was just stoked. Jim and I were running around the studio with our uh, cell phone cameras, taking pictures of all the memorabilia and all of these albums we used to listen to when we were kids. All these platinum albums that are on the wall. It was kind of, at one point, we looked at each other and we were like, Man, it's pretty amazing being here, isn't it? It's like, we're actually here. And it, like, you know, we really wanted to soak in the moment. Um, you know, the way that this is an exciting little piece of the Smokey Brights story, being part of the Z2F2, um, it's, it's capturing us at the same moment that we're putting out a full length record. And I think this band in the last year has hit this, you know, I've played in lots of bands, like we've hit this really amazing stride of like, we play well together. Like 
where five people that really get along, that are really proficient at your instruments like you have to be, but like, uh, so we're gonna have this full length record coming out, and then we've also got this like alternate little peek into what we're doing, what we're sounding like right now with a different set of equipment and a different producer. So I don't know, like, if people get into this full length we're putting out, I think it's gonna be a really cool companion piece, you know? Just like, you know, they also recorded this at the same time. I, as a music fan, I love stuff like that. So I think that that's most exciting to me is, you know, it's, it's another little piece of this, this story.